Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm really getting excited because we are doing the most famous and best mayonnaise in the world. So what we need is the emulsification blade, the B blade, to emulsify mayonnaise, the liquids, egg and oil, right? So I'll put this blade on already, just to be ready. Later on we will use the other blade. Now, we have three different options. We can either do it in a regular beaker or we can also use a jar. After you've done the mayonnaise directly in here, you close it and put it in the fridge. When you do a mayonnaise without vegetable, without garlic, any kind of vegetable, it, you can keep it for five days in the fridge. If you use vegetable, please don't keep it longer than three days, right? Okay, so I will just wanted to show you this because sometimes you have some uh, jars, nice jars, you want to use them, please do so. I'll do my mayonnaise right here because then you can see it much better. So we'll use an egg, very simple. Now, what we have is mustard. I always use mustard. Why? Because it makes the mayonnaise more creamy. If you don't like it, don't use it. Just do it the way you like it, okay? So, perfect. Now, what we have here is egg and mustard. What we also need is a little bit of pepper and salt. So I'll use a little bit of salt here. Then I use some lemon, already cut them. Why we use lemon into the mayonnaise? It's very simple, because we need some acid. Acid is the binder between oil and egg, because number one, this one is made of oil. 90% oil. But before I put the oil in, I just want to grind some pepper because we don't have any pepper available here. So let me ground a little bit. I'll have a, a few peppercorns. Very simple. I'll put them in with a powder disc and pulverize it immediately. So before I do that, let me take the blade off again. Very simple, very easy. And we have our pepper. So. You can see this pepper here. So I'll put them inside. Perfect. What I also use from time to time is chili. So I'll grind down a little bit of dry chili because I love it a little bit spicy. Of course, this is up to you. You can use it or not. But this. So this will be an amazing mayonnaise. Now what we need is, you can see, three times more oil. So make sure you will take three times more oil, like this. Just pour in That's it. So, remember, this is the mayonnaise we are eating every day. We all love it, we all like it, but it's basically oil. The most important, when you do the mayonnaise by yourself, you obviously know exactly what's inside. If you buy it in your shop, there's a lot of additives and you don't really know what's inside, okay? So now let's do this mayonnaise. Very simple, fix the blade on, we'll go inside, now watch this. This is absolutely crazy, in five seconds we have done our mayonnaise. Do you know how long it takes to do it by hand? It takes about 20 minutes to do it properly because you have to whisk with one hand and with the other hand you pour the oil inside. And if you miss something then you just start over again. With Bamix, very simple, very easy. You put everything inside, start, after two, three seconds, go up and 
your mayonnaise is already done. You see? And this is your mayonnaise. Absolutely, I call this absolutely amayonnaising. This is crazy. Watch this flavor. Wow, mm, perfect. Now what you can do, so we have a little bit of garlic. Take a little bit garlic inside. We just squeeze it with a blade or you cut it down, chop it, put it inside. Very simple, very easy. Then we have a little bit of cucumbers inside, a little bit of onion, very simple, very easy. The way you want, you can also use uh, different other ingredients. We just go again inside and pull it down. So now we have finished our mayonnaise. This is, looks very, very delicious. So what we have here is of course another little gadget. So you can just pull it on here so you won't make your uh, dish uh, or your, your desk dirty. Huh? So this is the nice mayonnaise we got here. Just crazy. Look at this. Wow, wow. This is really a mayonnaising. Very nice. So we have another option without egg. And I'll show you this as well. So we'll take oil, we put oil inside, and it's basically 50% oil and 50% cream, but without egg. So no egg inside, okay? So the oil is here, then we put a little bit of mustard as we did before. Of course, this is up to your taste and flavor if you want to do but we still need some lemon to make sure that we get the acid to bind these things. Huh? Just squeeze a little bit of lemon inside, or what you can use is also vinegar. So it's up to you what you like, okay? I prefer lemon because, or lime, because it's just more tasteful. So here we have some cream. Now we make sure that we got 50-50, just, okay. We'll put this back. And we do the same thing. We use the same blade, just go inside. This is the B blade, eh, by the way. So we just go inside and then start emulsifying it. Very simple, start one, two, three, angle it, and then slowly, slowly, slowly go up. And here we are. So this is called the diet mayonnaise. Now, the most thing, important thing is, we, is the washing up. I love this washing up because what we have here, just a bowl of water, then this is just cleaned. Absolutely amazing. So this is crazy things what we do here. By the way, we have also this nice gadget. You just put this on the table and you don't have all the dust and dirty on your surface. Huh? So what is important here, as I told you at the very beginning in the introduction, so this is oil rejecting, so there's no fat at all. Before I used garlic, it doesn't smell at all. This is absolutely crazy about this machine. I can do now directly my dessert, and it won't smell after garlic, it won't be oily, nothing at all. This is the funny thing and the most amazing thing about cooking because I love cooking. I even love more eating, but I hate washing up. And with this machine, we have a nice thing because we don't waste our time.